Second area is invasion of privacy. Now, that's an area that keeps expanding. And of course, there are more and more ways that we can invade each other's privacy. And of course, we don't have to be a journalist to do that. But a couple of questions to ask yourself. First of all, are you or some of your equipment in a place where there's a reasonable expectation of privacy? If so, you need to back off. Second, let's say you have some information you're not sure. Should I go with it or not? There's a simple test for that, and it's a two-parter. First of all, is the material that you're about to publish or disseminate over the internet or whatever highly offensive to a reasonable person? No, it has to be highly offensive. If it's just mildly offensive, the courts will say, get a thicker skin. To a reasonable person, again, if you're super sensitive, get over it. But there's a second question, and this is the more important of the two questions, and that's this question. Is it newsworthy? Or another way to word that, is it of legitimate public concern? If it is truly of legitimate public concern, you can use it, even if it would be highly offensive to a reasonable person. Now, in this area of the law, you do have a lot of power as a journalist. For example, the Supreme Court has said, yes, you may use the name of rape survivors. You get the green light. But the more important question, should you? Pictures of dead bodies. Legally, you can use them. But ethically, should you? So always, you should keep in mind what the law says you can do, and then follow your gut. If you question whether you should be doing it, perhaps your first response, your emotional response, is the right one. Maybe then you're just talking yourself into something that you really shouldn't be doing. Especially now, when everybody's got a cell phone and can take pictures. If it's out in a public space, you can take pictures of it. There's no reasonable expectation of privacy. But there have been cases where very hurtful pictures have been legally used. So, ethics, that's important.